guys, PhotoRider here, coming with you with an installation video. I'm going to be installing, uh, I installed a set of D4 lights, I have a separate video on that. I decided to make a separate installation video on the Soundbomb Compact Dual um, horn, kind of like the stubble horn, essentially. So, uh, I'm not going to burn a lot of video time, but I just wanted to show you what I got. I got the, um, the wiring harness itself, took it out of the package, here it is. Um, you know, pretty pretty much plug and play, but I will, I will be doing a couple of modifications because I have a fuse block, so I won't be needing the fuse, and we'll get into that later. Anyway, uh, it did come with a with a negative um, a ground wire. It's only about probably 10 inches long, 12 inches long, and the horn's going to be in the front. Batteries all the way up, you know, to, towards the rear. So I always like to ground not to the frame but straight to the battery so got me some wire and I already put a little connector there and everything so that's what I'll be using as ground so you can add this to that essentially so that's that get a little electrical tape and let's look at this take a look at the horn here real quick doing this one handed guys so bear with me okay so here we got the horn itself. All right. Let's see if we can get some better lighting on here. It's pretty compact, a little smaller than the stubble, but I've heard read pretty good things about it. You have your terminal connections right there. All right. Good size. Let's see what else comes in the box over here. screws to attach it um, the attachment point I purchased separately and I'm sorry I kind of already got installed so I purchased a bracket um, for it for the V-Strom and it's right here and probably bad light you can't see it but here is the bracket itself uh, it attaches directly to the frame so it's just a simple bracket it goes like that alright so um, I will pretty much show you what I'm going to be doing so uh, I'm not going to burn video time so I'll be right back okay guys photo rider back at you here again here we go the horn is now installed on the V-Strom it is mounted on the right side just above the coolant reservoir on the DL1000 that is let me show you from this angle top view the horn already installed. I used the bracket from Twisted Throttle. I'm not gonna lie, it was a pain in the butt to kind of get the bracket in place and, and the horn settled just at the right angle so that it wouldn't hit the fairing. The instructions say you can do it with a fairing on, but trust me, it's much easier if you do it with a fairing off. And I had it off because I'm doing a separate light install anyway, so that, that helped a lot. But yeah, it took a little time. So you see the wiring right here, positive and negative from the horn going all under the tank all the way back there you can see the wiring again along with other wiring accessories coming back that bottom relay this one right here is the um, the relay for the horn and that red wire feeds into the power command the fuse block and that negative wire uh, from the horn. I ran it all the way straight back. It's this wire right here Run it all the way back and it's coming directly into there. So um, Again, I prefer uh, Going all the way back to the battery or fuse block as opposed to doing anything ground um, So that is pretty much it. Oh last thing on the 1000 this is a radiator and right behind on the right hand side is where the stock horn is right behind that cover can't really see it but um, uh, the wiring harness comes with the the little horn connectors and so you just unplug the stock horn and hook up to the, those connectors and so that's what I did right there this wire that you see here that's it it's going right behind in there so that's it guys uh, it's pretty late and I don't want to do a test of the horn right now. Wake up my son and the wife, so we'll probably hear it tomorrow. So horn was successfully installed. Hopefully, um, we'll get to hear a sound test tomorrow. 
All right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave comments if you have any questions on the installation process. Pretty straightforward and simple. So uh, just let me know. All right, Photo Rider out.